Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Juan, I am a yarn addict, hence the name Juan the Yarn Addict, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by to check out my video today. This is a yarn and crochet channel where we talk about all things yarn and all things crochet, so if that interests you, please sit back and watch this video because today, my friends, we are having a podcast, Yarn Talk and All the Things. So, before we get into the podcast, there's two things that I want to reintroduce you to. The reason why I'm reintroducing you to these two things is because I've received an influx of new subscribers. Hi and welcome. And yeah, so I'll be doing that in my upcoming videos, just reintroducing you to some things that I really like and enjoy. And the one thing is what's wrapped on my chair. So this is Driftwood Ridges. Driftwood Ridges, audience, audience, Driftwood Ridges. Let me bend down and show you all the things. So this was made using Scarfy yarn. It's a five bulky weight yarn. It took three skeins to make. And um, yeah, it was all the fun. So I used an extended version of the Alpine Stitch. And obviously I put ridges throughout. So it worked up fairly quick. It was lots of fun. And yeah, even the tutorial was lots of fun. So I do have a right-handed and a left-handed tutorial out for this scarf. All of my tutorials will come out and have been coming out in the left and in the right hand crochet separately. So if you happen upon my channel and you see a tutorial for the wrong side, almost 100% guaranteed the other side is also available on my channel. So um, there's that. It's beautiful. Okay, the second thing that I want to share with you guys is my t-shirt. <laughs> so I bought this a while ago. I showcased it on my channel and I love this shirt so much that every time I have it on, I want to show you guys because it's my one of my crochet t-shirts. So I need, I just need coffee and my crochet. Love that. So talking about coffee, I have my cup of coffee here. Mm, so good. So, ooh, hot, <laughs> hot coffee. Okay, so my creamer is Caramel Macchiato. Love, love, love that creamer. And also, because I'm diabetic, I can't use the sugar, so everything is zero sugar. And the coffee that I use is Dunkin' Donuts coffee. So if you're familiar with it, it comes in like this orange container. Um, you can buy the bags and then dump the bags into the orange container and the flavor I'm using is hazelnut. So it's hazelnut caramel macchiato. It's giving me all the things that I need. Ah, it's so good. Okay. Anyway, so yes. And speaking again of coffee, um, I mentioned in past videos that I will be announcing the messages that I get from buymeacoffee.com. So buymeacoffee.com is a place where people can buy me cups of coffee. And I opened up my link and all that a while ago and just happened upon the link. I mean, it, I didn't think anybody would buy me coffee, but I went and checked anyway and noticed that many people bought me coffee. So um, I told you guys that every time I do a video, I will be sharing you know, two or three each time to just catch up. So um, here I have three, sorry, I'm bending down to grab my notes here. So the first cup of coffee comes from a friend named Lil. So Lil is a very good friend of mine. Um, I've only known her for a short period of time, but you know, she's one of those people that you just instantly connect with. You know, I know many of us just happen across people for the first time you cross paths with somebody and you just click well me and Lil just clicked and um, she's been my cheerleader from day one and yeah so she sent me a cup of coffee the message she left was congrats on 20k and so this message I got right around Christmas time when I hit 20k on Christmas day that rhymes <laughs> um, so thank you Lil as always um, I really appreciate your support and all the things. So thank you, Lil. The next cup of coffee comes from uh, Mishi, short for Mishaela. And she is my sister from another mister. We publicly announced that. I do have a handful of sisters from other misters. Um, she is one of them. So the message she left with her cup of coffee 
says, uh, enjoy a cup of your favorite coffee from your sister from another mister. Let's grab a project, our drink, our hook, and create something amazing. So, Mishy, you already know what it is. <laughs> we do this all the time. It's great. We love it. Um, yeah. So thank you for the cup of coffee and the message. Perfect. Chef's kiss. Okay. So the third cup of coffee comes from Blair. So Blair is one of my subscriber friends. And the message that she sends with her cup of coffee is, watching your videos has really brought a lot of comfort to me recently. Thank you for being so happy and positive and for putting good things into the world. Well, listen, that's what I'm here for. So, you know, I feel like now that my platform is growing, I have a sense of purpose. It's, yes, it's a crochet channel, it's a yarn channel, but more importantly, it's a way to connect with people and since I'm naturally a positive person, what better way to do that than on a channel like this, doing my favorite thing, talking about all the things, you know, in a positive way. So Blair, thank you so much for the message. Um, thank you for the cup of coffee and keep the coffees coming because I love coffee. <laughs> I have a coffee obsession. Some people think that I'm related to Juan Valdez, whoever he is. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I know who he is. <laughs> Anyway, so thank you ladies for the cups of coffee. All right, so the next part of our podcast situation is I have a yarn buy here. So I purchased uh, some new to me yarn and I also bought some yarn that I'm very well aware of, but never really purchased these colorways because I never really had a reason to buy them. I'm sure that when we shop for yarn, we always see the same colors and we just skip over them because we really don't need them. And so my purpose for this visit was to embrace the new colors. It's 2024. You're, you're looking at the pink right there. So I'm all about embracing new colors this time around this year. So I'll start with my Red Heart Super Saver stripes. And the colorway here is Fruity Stripe. <laughs> I love the name. Um, so here is that. It's, oh, look at those colors. It's orange and it's giving like passion fruit and yellow. And I'm, I'm, lo I'm loving the color. I love the color here. Now, again, I always knew it was there. I walked past it because there really wasn't a purpose for me to have it. So if you know anything about me and variegated yarn and striped yarn, I don't stray away from things like that. Let me tilt you up, give you a, a good view. Okay, I love variegated yarn and this is just a little snippet of what I have in my inventory. Um, I have some there, I have some up there. I have tons in the other room. Well, rooms, plural. Um, if you've been on one of my lives, I can't remember which one, I did a live in the makes room. I have an entire room uh, dedicated to finished projects. Well, along the top shelves now, I have bins of yarn because I needed somewhere to put it. So um, anyway, I love striped yarn. I love variegated yarn. I love heathered yarn. I love all yarn. I'm addicted to yarn. I'm a yarn addict. <laughs> I love yarn. Okay. And I know those of you who are watching me can relate. So anyway, um, I'm going to read the specs anyway, just because I'm doing it. I mean, we all know what the specs are if you've used this yarn before, but for those of you who may or may not have touched it before, I'm going to do it anyway. So there's that. This is five ounces, 141 grams, 236 yards, 215 meters. It is a medium four weight yarn. They do recommend that you use a five and a half millimeter crochet hook, otherwise known as a USI nine. You can wash and dry it. Please don't iron. So in true fashion, okay, I don't know if I'm able to lift this up, but I'm going to try anyway, because I'm a yarn addict and you know, it's okay. Ooh, ooh, hold on. This is what I get for trying to lift everything up at the same time. Let me see if I can do it. So this is my haul of the fruity stripes. Okay, now this is how obsessed I am with new colors. You know, when I decide to try something, okay. So this is only half of, <laughs> 
This is only half. So the other half I had to order online because they ran out at the store, which is understandable. But look, I'm going to tilt you back up again, okay? So if you look at the colorways, like right here, so there's about 12 there. I have another 12. You can't see it. I, even if I tilt it up, I don't know if you can see it. No. The camera won't go that high. There's another 12 of those. That's fall stripes. No. That's, yeah, that's the colorway fall. I tried making something during fall and nothing clicked. So there it sits. Um, anyway, I want to make something exclusive with these colors and I want to run black with it. So I am thinking like a mosaic. And mind you, I ordered this. When did I order this? I ordered this about three or four days ago. I couldn't get to Joanne's. Actually, no, two days ago. Um, because they only give you so many days before it goes back on the shelf. So I ordered this two days ago, and I got a notification that I needed to pick it up or else it was going back on the shelf. So I picked up what they had, and then I placed an order for more. Because when you do mosaic blankets and mosaic projects, it, I mean, it tends to require a lot of yarn. Um, especially if you're doing everything in single crochet. So anyway, um, yeah, running this all with black and... I think it's going to be all the things. I think it's going to be awesome. I may change my mind. I'm not exactly sure, but that's where my mind is sitting right now. I want to do a mosaic with this and black. So there's that. Okay. So, and of course, if I don't need all of that yarn, I can just either sit it in my yarnscape or put it in a mystery box or put it in a giveaway. I love to give variegated yarns in giveaways because I love variegated yarns. And, you know, I'm trying to get other people to like them as much as I do. So anyway, next one here is Neon Stripes. Now this here is another one that I've never used, but I knew it was always there. It's the same specs as the last one. You know, five ounces, 141 grams, 236 yards, uh, 215 meters, it's a four weight yarn, five and a half millimeter crochet hook, US I-9. You can wash, you can dry it. And I did not pick up a lot of this because the store didn't have that many. But rest assured, I placed an online order for more. <laughs> and look guys, it has pink. Where's that fuchsia? I don't know. It's giving, it's, is it fuchsia? wait see now I'm wondering because I was excited to pick this up because that's fuchsia see this this is the fuchsia we had this whole debate um, about the fuchsia so yeah it's it's not pink it's fuchsia but that's okay depending on who you ask it's pink enough <laughs> so anyway I placed an order for more of these because I am going to try my hand at color pulling um, I saw on YouTube there was a video someone used this to do color pulling and so I'm going to play and see what I come up with because why not anyway let's talk money so the original price is four dollars and forty nine cents for a skein okay as of the date of this video which is December the third of 2000 I'm sorry January wow where, where am I thinking um, it is January 3rd, 2024. Joann's has these on sale for $3.37. The original price is $4.49, right? So if you place your order online and pick up in store, you have a coupon you could use for an additional 20% off, which makes these skeins $2.70 each. So, yeah, I kind of decided let's just do this this is when I like to buy a whole lot of yarn when it's like this when it's under three dollars a skein that's when you jump on the sale okay um, I buy my solids when it's two dollars and seventy cents I mean I stock up I think um, this past summer the biggest haul I ever did with Joann's um, I had to go to both Joann's. So I live in Delaware. There's one in Delaware and then there's one across the border in PA. 
I had to place an order with both stores because they didn't have enough of what I wanted. I, I ordered 200 skeins of yarn and um, they didn't have everything. So I had to go to the other Joann's to pick it up. So listen, yarn doesn't have an expiration date. It only requires space. So if you have the space, get it. So there's that. <laughs> okay. So I look forward to upcoming projects with that. I do have a planner. This is another new thing for 2024. I have a planner and I'm writing down some like ideas and time frames and things. I'm not holding myself to a timetable. If I get it done, I get it done. If I don't get it done, I'll just move the date. It's no big deal. Okay. So the next yarn is a new to me. Now I saw this on Crystal, uh, over at Bag of Day Crochet, she did a live recently. I think it was her last live. Again, this is January 3rd. So whenever her last live was, she was working on a project that looked like some sort of a sweater she was working on. And um, this here is Hue and Me from Lion Brand. I saw that. She mentioned it was a bulky five. It looked really good the way she was working it up. And I said, I have to have it. So she enabled me to go online to at least check it out. And... When I checked it out, let me tell you, okay, the original price for this skein of yarn here is $8.99. That's the original price. Now, Joann's has it on sale right now for $3.99. Okay, $5 off. If you order online and pick up in store, you get an additional 20% off of that which means you get this for $3.19 a skein. I mean, $8.99 original price on sale for $3.19. It's a deal and a steal. You have to take advantage of it if you're able to. So of course I did. Um, so they didn't have in mass quantities like I like to order. So I ordered just what they had and they didn't have much. Most of the order that I placed was canceled because they didn't have it. So I have two skeins of this color and I'll get into the details in one second. So I have two skeins of this color, two skeins of this color. Oh, let me be specific here. This colorway here is called Arrowhead. This is called Arrowhead. I don't like how it just changed the color like that. Did you see that? That's weird. And this colorway here is called Fatigues. It's supposed to be like an olive green. It's not really coming up that way on the camera, unfortunately. So I got two of those. And I got two of the shadow. There you go. So I placed an online order for more because listen, I may not need this yarn right now, but I'm going to look for a project to work up with this because let me tell you, when I brought this home and I felt the yarn, I'm like, are you kidding me? This is great. It's a perfect bulky five. I love how this feels. It's nice and soft. It's not, you know, one thing or the other. It's perfect. So let me do a one for me and a one for you. Let's do that. So that is the yarn right there. I don't like how it changes. See, that's the color. And then as soon as I put it towards the light, it goes dull. I don't know. Anyway, let's just look at the yarn. So this is 4.4 ounces, 125 grams. It's 137 yards, 125 meters. It's a bulky five yarn. And they suggest a six and a half millimeter crochet hook, otherwise known as a US letter K. It is machine washable and dryable. It's 80% acrylic and 20% wool. Again, the colorway is Arrowhead. See, that's the true color. I don't know what, why it does that. Like it dulls out. See that? That's so weird. Anyway. Um, yeah, so... I didn't have a specific purpose. I just bought them because I thought the colors were awesome. I'm, I love muted down colors. You know what I mean? So anyway, they offer, 
I wrote the notes down because I didn't want to mess this up. They have 24 shades of this. And this was a partnership deal between Line Brand and Two of Wands. Wine, wands, simpatico, meant to be, I don't know. Two of Wands, Hugh and me, 24 different colorways. Um, and I wanted to read to you guys a little note from the founder of Two of Wands. I really enjoyed this, this little note. So um, Alexandra Tavell is the person's name. And this person writes, I strive to design special pieces with simple but unexpected details. My design process starts with a feeling, a moment in time that I want to capture with a garment or accessory. My goal is to encourage others to find their creative energy and join in the magic and mindfulness of knitting and crocheting. How wonderful is that statement? That is so cool. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you because that resonated with me because yes, we go through the motions, we crochet, but also too, like it allows us to be creative. And the more you learn in the world of crochet, the better you are with design and all the things. <laughs> so it allows us to explore what it is that we do. So I really enjoy that. Okay, so that right there, my friends, um, was my yarn haul my yarn by. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to pause you guys. I got to clear the table for this next part. It's going to be interesting. So I'll see you on the other side. One second. Okay. I am back. So this next part, uh, involves this. So I did a spin the wheel series, spin the wheel for a beanie. And I featured pink colors. It was literally my last video. Uh, I did the video yesterday, January the 2nd, 2024. It's my first beanie of the new year. And it is, <laughs> it's very pink. Anyway, I put it out there in the YouTube streets. Hey guys, help me pick a name. I posted in my Facebook group, One the Yarn Addict and Friends. Hey guys, you have any ideas? And boy... You guys did not disappoint. I literally had hundreds of responses. Hundreds. A lot of them similar and all that. But man, you guys show up for me and I am so humbled and grateful for that. I mean, there's names that were so good that I may actually consider creating a project around the name. So good. Um, but... There was one user in particular, one subscriber, one viewer. Her name is Karen. Her handle is Karen Mayo 4558. Okay. She literally listed at least 30 to 40 different idea names. I don't know if she was pulling them from a generator. Um, but Karen, hi, thank you. <laughs> I mean, you had all these amazing ideas, names that I'm like, you know what? I want to create a beanie because the name was so perfect. I mean, I just, my imagination was just running wild with all the names. So special shout out, shout out to you, Karen. Sorry, can't talk right now. So her comment was, if there is more than one name you like, spin for it. So why not? We spun for everything here. Why not spin for the name? So I went through all the names and the ones that really stood out to me, ones that I would potentially name this beanie, I put on the wheel. And um, some of them are, I mean, I'd be like, okay, that's the name. And then other ones are like, well, that has some really good potential to be a, a decent name. So let me read them to you. Okay, so let's see, okay. If these are your names, I mean, listen, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for suggesting the names. So let me start here. Flamingo Frenzy Beanie. Uh, Puff Chaos Beanie. Flock of Flamingos Beanie. That one was really good. Flock of Flamingos. Um, Prevail Beanie. And I believe that came from uh, Mishy, one of my sisters from another mister. Prevail Beanie. And then the next one is Color Crunch Beanie. That I made up. Um, Chaotic, Chaotic Bliss Beanie. Color Chaos Beanie. Flamingo Frenzy Beanie. Puff Chaos Beanie. 
and then, you know, a uh, flock of flamingos beanies. So, oh, and then there's this other one here called Desert, uh, Dessert Parfait. So, some of them were on there twice because I like them so much. <laughs> so, and I couldn't decide if I wanted that name or not. So, some of them are on there twice because I really liked the name. So, Flock of Flamingos is on there twice. Um, the Prevail Beanie is on there twice. Prevail Beanie is a good one because, you know, I had an aversion towards pink. You know, and yeah, it was all fun and everything. But, you know, for me personally, like, I really did not care for the color. And somehow, I made it through. Like, you know, I'm totally embracing colors. And, you know, looking at the potential in the color. You know what I mean? So Prevail, it's, it was a good name. Um, so that's on there twice. Flamingo Frenzy is on there twice. Color Chaos is on there twice. So there's a lot of twice. A lot of twices. <laughs> a lot of doubles. <laughs> I can't talk right now, sorry. Um, anyway, we're going to spin for this. We are going to decide right now, once and for all, what the name of this beanie is going to be. Okay? So... Here we go. We're putting it into the power of the wheel. So I am going to bring you guys down to the wheel. Okay, let me bring you guys up to there. I'm trying to get the glare out. You see me and the glare, but that's fine. So right now, honestly, my number one choice of the wheel right now is Flock of Flamingos Beanie. I really, really like that name. I mean, I don't know why I like it so much. It just, I like it. It's one of those things, like, I like it. But, you know, I love all the other ones too. So here we go. We're going to spin for this. Ready? <sighs> Here's the wheel. Okay, here we go. Okay, so the name of our beanie is Color Chaos Beanie. So that is the name. It's been settled. Color Chaos Beanie. I will change the title of the tutorial. I'm going to write that down so I don't forget. Color Chaos Beanie. I think in the tutorial I mentioned... Pink Chaos would be a, a decent name, but then at the end I decided, you know what, let's omit the color because what if someone wanted to do something like that in green or orange, you know? You can't really name a pink beanie, you know? A, a, you can't name an orange beanie pink anything. It just wouldn't make sense. So that's why I decided to take pink out of it. So Color Chaos Beanie, awesome sauce. Okay, so there is that. Color Chaos Beanie. Let me put this on again. I'm trying to find where the... I can't tell. Oh. Okay, here goes. <laughs> so, I know I have some serious pink lovers out there. So, Art Junkie, a good friend of mine, Shannon, up in Canada. She's got pink everything in her kitchen. And she sent me a picture of her pink kitchen... And listen, I was, I think it's powder pink. I don't know what shade of pink that was. I think it's like this. And it was great for her. I love that. But I wouldn't have that. <laughs> anyway, um, so I know she was stoked that I got behind the color. You know, I'm a big, huge man, like afraid of pink. And uh, yeah, so here we are. And then there's another person, a friend of mine from across the pond, Sam, over at Mampa's Makes. Um, I know she loves the color pink and um, so much so that I am preparing a, a little something for her in pink. So stay tuned, Sam, if you're watching, I'm creating something for you. So I hope you like it anyway. Um, yeah. And I know she likes flamingos too. Yes. Flamingos. So anyway, here we are color chaos so now what i'm going to do is is i'm going to challenge myself to do something like this but in my favorite color we already know what that is so i'm not going to say it but in my favorite color and we'll take it from there 
I challenge you guys to do one in your favorite color and see what becomes of it. So feel free to watch the tutorial. Um, like I mentioned earlier with, with my scarf, I have a tutorial out for left-handed crocheters and right-handed crocheters. So pick the one that's for you and go to town. Okay? So there's that. All right. So the last portion of my video is Happy Mail. So I mentioned this before. I pepper my Happy Mail out. I spread it all out um, because I don't want to make a video all about Happy Mail. Um, my Happy Mail, I open live just like this. I don't pre-plan. I don't open it. Um, I screen it real time like like this. So anyway, um, I have some Happy Mail that I want to open. Um, this first piece of Happy Mail um, comes like this. I'm very curious as to what this is. I have no idea. It could be a card. It could be a pencil. I have no idea. So let's go ahead and open this. Hopefully I don't tear anything. It doesn't look like I'm going to tear anything. Okay. All right. So here's that. Ooh, what's this? Okay. So... Um, it says, hi Juan, see if this hook is any good. I've never tried them, but they had a five and a half and it seems larger than average. This is from Barb and uh, yeah, okay. So this is a Yarnology crochet hook. Thanks Barb. I, I definitely appreciate that. I have tried this um, and I really do like these hooks. It reminds me of the prim hooks, if I'm being honest. Um, yeah. Thanks, Barb. I really appreciate that. Okay. So there's that. The second one here came to me. I picked this up today, actually. I picked this up. Um, this has been sitting, waiting for me, um, at the facility. I just haven't picked it up. <laughs> so here it is. This comes to us from a viewer, a subscriber friend. She watches me all the time. Her name is Gloria. Hi, Gloria. Thank you so much for the happy mail. I haven't even opened it yet. I don't even know what's in here, but I will tell you guys that it's quite heavy. I, I have no idea what is in here, but it has some weight to it. I'll tell you that. Okay. So she reached out to me at the end of December and said, Hey Juan, I'm sending you some happy mail. But then all the things happen, you know, you had the holidays, I had my jobs, I was just wrapping up my third job, which by the way, guys, I don't work the third job anymore, um, because now I am here with you guys. So more time to do all the things. So I'm opening this. Now, my good friend Jennifer, um, she's one of my admins in my Facebook group. She sent me box cutters and all the things, and I'm still using scissors. So I'm sorry in advance, Jennifer. I just, it's habit. Old habits die hard. So, okay. I haven't opened it yet, but it's it's open now. I'm going to pop it open. Let me tilt this down so we can see. Let me see. Can I come down? Okay. You don't need to see my face. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Okay. So, this is what I'm looking at. It's yarn filled to the brim. Filled to the brim, guys. Yarn. I got a card here. Juan the Yarn Addict. Let me go ahead and open that. Warmest Wishes. Oh, this is so nice. The handwriting is beautiful. I love handwriting. One, may you and yours enjoy health, happiness, prosperity, and more now and throughout the year. Looking forward to seeing you, your precious mom, and all the things in 2024 from one yarn addict to another. Gloria. This is so 
Nice. Let me read this. It says, one, even though this will arrive after Christmas, the love and sentiment remains the same. I didn't send you any pink yarn. Don't want you to take away my opportunities to watch you or chat with you, LOL. But I did send you some clearance yarns that I found at Joann's and Walmart. Hopefully, either you or your mom can use it to make some blankets for charity. I also included two of my homemade candles, um, Fraser Fur and Black Cherry Bomb. I hope you like them. May God bless you, your mom, and continued success to you in 2024. With love and all the things, Gloria, otherwise called Miss G. Well, Miss G, I love this card. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. This is so sweet. Okay, so let me just set the card down here. Let me bring this down here so we can show the things. All right. Oh, look at this. Hooked on you. I have the perfect place to put this. Thank you, Miss G. I love that. Okay. And, okay. So, Yarn Inspirations, Bernat Casa. This is nice and soft. This is a super bulky six. Let's see, what is this? Super bulky six. It's 78 polyester, 22% acrylic. It's 7.9 ounces, 225 grams. It's 170 yards, 155 meters. And the colorway is mineral blue. And she sends us two skeins. Now, this is something else that I'm going to embrace for this year. I'm going to work with work with this uh, fluffy yarn. I'm going to try and take Harry out of my vocabulary because I know it disturbs some of my viewers. <laughs> so I'm going to use fluffy, okay? Fluffy yarn, not Harry, fluffy. Okay? Thank you, Miss G. This yarn smells amazing, guys. Mm. Smells just like these candles in here. Ugh. Okay. This next one here is Shawl in a Ball. Oh, my stars. Boy, do I remember this. Look at that color. You knew I was going to say it. The colorway is beautiful. So, the colorway name is Mindful Mauve. That is so pretty. It's 58 cotton, 39 acrylic, and three other fibers. It's a medium four weight yarn, and they recommend, let me, it's a brown label I can barely see here. My age is showing. So they recommend a six millimeter crochet hook, otherwise known as a US letter J. And let's say machine wash, gentle, lay flat to dry. And this is a picture of the colorway. That's gorgeous. Why did they discontinue this? Ugh, I'm gonna have to go on eBay and look and see if there's more of this, because this is perfect. I love everything about that colorway. Starts with the white, fades into a gray, and then gives us all the purples, ending with the dark, dark purple at the end here. That's everything in a ball. Shawl in a ball. Oh, wait a minute. Th this is another one. She sent me two. Maybe I don't have to go anywhere. Look at how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? Ugh, I can't even. I love this. Thank you, Miss G. I'm definitely, this is definitely staying right here in the studio. This I'm keeping because it's a challenge. Let's see. This one right here is Red Heart Unforgettable. Uh, this is called Pearly. Okay. Um, this is a medium four weight yarn. They recommend a six millimeter crochet hook, otherwise known as US letter J. It is machine washable, um, um, machine washable and dryable. 100% acrylic. And what is the yardage looking like here? So it's three and a half ounces, 100 grams, 270 yards, 246 meters. 
I have some unforgettable, but I have a completely different colorway over there. I wonder if this would complement it. Hold on, guys. I want to go grab it. It probably won't match. Hold on. I'm going on a field trip. Let me bring you guys back up. I'm curious now. Give me one second. I'm not going far, I promise. I'm going right here. Right here to the wall. See, I have some unforgettable here that's also discontinued. I still have it in the plastic. Look at that. Mm, no. What about this one? Is that the same one? Yeah, that's the same. Okay, never mind. Scratch that idea. <laughs> okay. Let's go back to the box. Let's come down here. Back to the box. Back to the box. Okay. So... Let's do the candles. What's this one? This is Fraser Fur. Let's open this one. Wow, that smells so good. I wish you guys can smell it. That is so cool. I'm a candle person. My mom, not so much, but I am definitely the candle person in the house. Ooh, that is nice. What did she say this other one was? Wow. What was that one? Hold on. Um, Black Cherry Bomb. Yep. That, it's like berries right in your nose. That's perfect. Thank you, Miss G. I'm definitely going to use that. Yes, I am. That purple one, I'm probably going to light it right after I'm done the video. This next one is Bernat Casa. Same stats as this one right here. But this comes to us with a tawny brown colorway. That's the name of that, tawny brown. And the recommended crochet hook, is it the same? I don't know if I mentioned that. So, no, I didn't mention it because I didn't see it. But I see it here, um, a US uh, M13, uh, otherwise known as a 9mm crochet hook. Super fluffy. See? Already fluffy. <laughs> Okay, this next one here is Bernat Casa in the colorway Gray Shade. Look how beautiful and fluffy and all the things. This is going to be a challenge that I can't wait to start. So it's 170 yards each. And I'm thinking that if I use a 9mm crochet hook, I can get creative and do something with all the things. I can, I'm going to get creative with this and see what I come up with. Because yesterday, let me bring you guys up, sorry. Field trip. So yesterday, um, when I was filming for the beanie, we had very basic stitches. A lot of people were like, Juan, I don't know if that's going to come out any good. And I took some basic stitches and created a masterpiece with it. I mean, the wheel gave us single crochet, double crochet, V-stitch, and a puff stitch. And look how beautiful that came out. So, the possibilities are endless, guys. Do the colors match? No, they do not. But we can get creative and get artistic with it and create a masterpiece with these colors and then make you sit there and wonder well they don't go but that looks great it makes sense so that's kind of my intent with this because I mean you can't well maybe you can but I don't want to do just one project with the one skein I want to do something with all of it and say Miss G gave me the stuff for this blanket or for this project so there's that this here, I'm probably going to tie in with another one of my roving uh, style yarns. Um, I do have quite a few different ones here that I can play with. So I'll keep you posted with that. And then this here, this is a new to me yarn. Um, shawl and a ball. I heard about this, but I have never experienced it. So I am super excited to work with this. 
I have a ball winder. I'm going to sit there and rewind all the things and go to town with it. Can't wait for that. So, I'm so excited about this box. Talk about new things for 2024. Let me adjust this one more time. There we go. Talk about new things for 2024. Like, I'm taking Harry out of the vocabulary. I'm going to infuse fuzzy. So there's that. I'm embracing the colors, you know, and I say all this to say that, like, do you guys have anything that you want to embrace for 2024? Are there any new things that you want to experiment with and try? Um, one of the things that I've already started doing was working with three weight yarns. Um, I mean, I've worked with three, three weight yarns before, but like I'm creating new things with thinner yarns, which I mean, my hands are huge, right? So like a three weight yarn for me feels like working with thread, but I'm playing around with it. I'm experimenting with it and I'm really liking what's happening. So that's something else. I mean, I'm notorious for four weight yarns, four five and six, but three weight, two weight. I even have, what, what weight is this? I have yarn within arm's reach everywhere in this room. It's so great. I love it. Um, this is ice yarns. What weight is this? It doesn't say, but it's gotta be, it's gotta be a two weight yarn. Like it's, it's definitely not a one weight yarn. It's, it's definitely a two weight yarn. And I bought a whole bunch of this. Like I have bags of this in different colors. So I look forward to working with that. Maybe make like a pineapple motif situation. So that's a lot of fun. So anyway, I really enjoyed our time together. <laughs> I wish I could go on and on and on and on about all the things with you guys, but you know, we have to wrap it up. So that is all I have for today's video, my friends. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, please. I want all the people, come on over. It's a lot of fun here. Um, like the channel or like the video, please. I mean, seriously, it would be amazing to see all the thummies um, subscribe to my channel like I said and then of course hit that notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel it's a new year friends and there's lots of things planned for my channel so please come sit and stay a while have some coffee with me listen to the podcasts go to the tutorials and you know come to the Sunday lives it's a lot of fun Anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, that's all I have. So until the next one, guys, see ya. Take care.